It's hard to feel badly for BP CEO Tony Hayward, and trust me, I don't, but the guy's been beaten up so much, he probably wishes he were UK goalie Robert Green. That guy hasn't been uh, lambasted as much as Hayward has. We were robbed by a poor goalkeeper. Hayward got grilled by politicians, and rightfully so. You expect to be CEO of BP much longer? BP has a lot of explaining to do, a lot that they need to answer for in terms of the spill and the ineptitude in getting the, the gulf cleaned up, some of the concerns about the claims that are legitimate claims from small businesses that are struggling as a result of this, and also taking it a step further. How did this actually happen? Were there lax safety standards that enabled this tragedy to take place? BP has to pay. BP has to be held accountable. But you know what makes me a little more angry than Tony Hayward's lame attempt to say he's sorry? I'm deeply sorry. I deeply regret that. Those are not just words. After pathetic TV commercials and trying to explain that awful, insensitive comment about how he wishes he'd have his life back, I'm actually more angry at Congress. Politicians need to find a way to come up with a real alternative energy plan. They use the hearing to puff their chest and make themselves look good because, yeah, there's an election in November, and they beat up on corporate America, or in this case, corporate England, which has been a theme all year. That's got to stop. After a while, Congress has to end all of the pointing fingers and blaming corporate CEOs and take a hard look in the mirror. I feel physically sick. They need to sit down and craft real alternative energy reform so that we don't have to rely on fossil fuels, which we've been doing for a century now. We need solar energy. We need wind energy. We might even need nuclear energy, despite some of the safety concerns that are obvious there. But the longer that the U.S. remains dependent on oil, I hate to say it, we're going to probably have another catastrophe like we did in the Gulf. It may not be in the Gulf again, may not even be in the U.S., but guess what? There's going to be another oil spill as long as we keep drilling for oil.